Listening to your opinions about ghosting has been really interesting. As someone who is in their mid-20s, I have ghosted and been ghosted a number of times after a date or two. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Wow. Wow. That's... Wow. Okay. Yeah. My question is, how would you approach mid-20s you to be a better person and stop ghosting after a date or two? Dude, I did... I did approach mid 20s me as late 20s me mm. and i said guy first of all you are great and then there was a lot of that and i'll fast forward in the conversation i was always like dude you hit it off with someone or it's just like maybe you hit it off with someone you're like this is what i'm looking for so no one has two completely different sets of expectations if you're both working towards a common goal it's going right. to be great Right. If you both want something completely different, it's going to end bad. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think people ghost when um, things are going well. I think more than anything, it's like you ghost to avoid being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But if you, you can't, it's impossible to live a life where you are um, completely avoidant. Of, you're not going to be able to avoid being uncomfortable for your entire life. Life is about being uncomfortable and then finding out, proving to yourself that you could get out of that situation or not even get out, just work past, work through that situation. That's how you grow as a person. That's where strength comes from. You're right. You got to be... You have to be okay with being uncomfortable sometimes mm -hmm. because it's not always about you either. That's right. why ghosting is a selfish thing. Mm -hmm. It's like I got out of it without being uncomfortable. What about the other person? Right. Even if you don't care about them that much. Right. Even if they're, you know, they smell bad or whatever. It's like you have to give the other person enough respect to be like, this is why uh, it wasn't how it was, or this is why we don't talk anymore, or this is why um, I don't see myself in a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. Then they learn something about themselves, and they could either take that or choose to ignore it, or it's really not your problem. After you get it off your chest, it's really not your problem what they do with that information. Right. Say, this is why you don't work for me, mm -hmm. or this is why I don't think this situation is working. Mm -hmm. Even if... <clears throat> I give this example all the time, but like um, I ghosted someone in my 20s who there was like nothing wrong with and I felt bad because she was great, mm -hmm. uh, but I just wasn't feeling something and I didn't know how to deal with that. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do I tell a person that nothing is wrong with that I'm not enjoying mm -hmm. the relationship? Mm -hmm. It's very tough. And then I did that. And then years later, I apologized for it. Right. And she's like, what was your name again? And I said, well, that stings. Yeah. Did that actually, did she actually ask what your name was again? No, they never forget my name. Yeah. That's funny. Going back, even if they smell, you said, I dated you even though you smelled. You guys. And we didn't even need to double back to that. But you decided to. I don't smell bad all the time. No, you don't. You didn't catch me at my smelliest. If you can't handle me at my smelliest, you don't deserve me at my wealthiest. No. If you can't, if you don't want me at my stinkiest, you don't deserve trinkiest. Trinkets. Great. Trinkets. That's great. You don't deserve wow. for us to go to the Pasadena flea market and for me to buy you trinkets. Thank <laughs> you.